This is the preparation of the gastronemius muscle. The green arrow shows the in vivo resting length measurement and the thread is tied to the Achilles tendon. The muscle minus the tibiofibula and the foot is then placed in the muscle holder against two wires which will deliver the stimulus voltage. An elastic band is placed around the muscle to hold it firmly in place against the wires and then finally a cup is placed underneath the apparatus so it can be bathed with ringer solution. Muscle is stimulated and recorded at high speed and so to analyze a single muscle twitch at this high speed we overlay the two channels and observe these in the zoom window where we can then make measurements. To measure the latent period the M marker is placed on the stimulus and the cursor at the beginning of contraction and the change in time measured. To measure the time for contraction, the M marker is placed at the beginning of the contraction period, the cursor at the top, and the time between those two is recorded. To measure the relaxation phase, the M marker is placed at the top, and the cursor at the bottom is relaxes at the time recorded. To generate a length tension relationship, the muscle starts relaxed and is stretched in one millimeter increments and the force of contraction at each of those one millimeter inc increments is measured and recorded. For every millimeter of stretch, there are three twitches and the amplitude of the middle twitch in each case is measured. When the force goes down, then recording stops. To measure temporal summation, we start with low frequency stimulation to generate single twitches, which relax completely in between stimuli, and then increase the frequency to demonstrate unfused tetanus, where there's relaxation between twitches, and fused tetanus, where the muscle stays contracted and there's no loss of tension between twitches. And finally, we at high frequency, 60 hertz, we see fused tetanus and then fatigue as the muscle keeps losing tension despite repeated stimulation.